so all you have to do is click it over to battery. Um, you have your spark on this side and then your gas right here. And then you know, brake and reverse. So, yeah, it's just kind of interesting. Um, it's so manual. It's hand unreal. brake. Yeah. yeah. So that's how you start it. Um, it starts in low gear. But you can actually, if you put it all the way forward, you know, you, I can just show you. See that? How mm -hmm. the clutch goes all the way back like that? It'll just go. You don't have to touch it. It'll just zoom. <laughs> if, it, if you put it in high gear. But you put it in low gear to start, and then, yeah. Hey guys, super quick, make sure you subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of our new videos. Hello everybody, welcome back to the St. Louis Car Museum. I'm Ian, and today we're featuring a 1911 Ford Model T Speedster. This Model T is finished in carmine red over black leather. It has a rebuilt engine with balanced rotating assembly, 12 volt alternator charged system, high volume oiling system, brake lights, electric headlights, Kevlar transmission bands, larger brakes, and an enhanced 177 cubic inch L-head four-cylinder engine. Henry Ford's legendary Model T, introduced in 1908, is undoubtedly the most influential and versatile American automobile of all time. The model's proven mechanicals and ease of repair allowed many consumers to own and utilize an automobile for the first time, forever leaving the horse and buggy in the past. Ford's dominance in the automotive marketplace came from Henry's commitment to efficient production and finding ways to reduce the cost to automobile buyers. It's fair to say his successes in assembly line production also paved the way to lowering costs of all consumer manufactured products. The Model T's simplistic design allowed for various modifications and formed the foundation of this custom torpedo speedster. Different from the production runabout or touring car, the Speedster was meant for one thing, shedding unnecessary weight and going fast. This example was the creation of Jeffrey Nelson, who spent four years carefully constructing and restoring this 1911. While retaining the original hood and fenders, the new sporty coachwork came inspired by the venerable Mercer Raceabout. The new wood body is covered in lightweight aluminum and painted in carmine red with beautifully stained cherry wood trim panels, diamond stitched and button tucked black leather seats, and black and gold pinstripe accents throughout. 
The brass appointments are highly polished and maintain a brilliant shine. Once completed, it was used annually in low-speed parades and driven on Model T events some 3,000 estimated miles, at times hitting speeds in excess of 50 miles per hour. This custom Model T Speedster is one of a kind, and it is a perfect entry into the exciting world of brass era motoring. Hey guys, super quick. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you like rare cars, you're going to love the rest of our social medias too. So give those a follow and uh, I'll see you next time.